Let's calculate the limit when x approaches 2, 1 of x squared minus 2x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. We can see that we have a limit when x approaches 2, 1 of a quotient of polynomials and that's a continuous function. So for, for doing this limit we have to substitute the 1 on the x. So this would be 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 1 divided by 1 squared minus 1. Operating this we would have 1 squared is 1 minus 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 divided by 1 squared 1 minus 1. If we obtain a value from here that's that, would, that will be the result of the limit. 1 minus 2 plus 1 is 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0. Oh, as we know, we have, as we can see, we have a zero on the, de on the denominator, and fractions with a zero on the denominator has no sense at all. And what, the, what does that, that mean? We've obtained a zero divided by zero. That's an indetermination. That cannot, that not, that doesn't tell us the value, the real value of the limit. So we will have to calculate it. In, a, in another way rather than substituting the one. So, what we will do is what's next on this video. So, what we're going to do is apply Rufinis rule to factorize both of the polynomials. Let's start with the numerator. We have to write the 1 here on the left as the as the x approaches to 1 and let's write the coefficients of the polynomial of the numerator that's 1 minus 2 and 1 the 1 goes down so we have 1 times 1 is 1 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0 let me remind you that this is the dividend, the divisor would be the 1 and the quotient would be the 1 and the minus 1 left there. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 can be expressed as x minus 1 times x minus 1. Let's go with the denominator. It can be expressed as by doing Ruffini it is the coefficients are 1 for the x squared, 0 for the x and minus 1 for the independent term let's write the 1 of the x here so the 1 goes down 1 times 1 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 so times 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so x squared minus 1 would be the divisor x minus 1 times the quotient x plus 1 and just by simplifying this we, we can cross out the x minus 1 on the numerator and on the denominator we have to substitute the 1 of the x approaches to on the x so let's try to get a result and see if it makes sense it's not an indetermination so substituting we will have 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 on the numerator we will have a 0 and on the denominator a 2 and as we know, 0 divided by 2 is 0. That makes a lot of sense, and this is the result of the whole limit.